Marriage to me means that we're a team. It's kind of like us against the world. It doesn't matter where we are, we've always got each other and with Carl by my side, I can do anything. Initially when we both got introduced to each other, I thought she was a very good looking girl. She seemed very self-assured and outgoing. I thought he was very handsome, lovely and tall, big smiley face, very confident and comfortable in himself. When she walks into a room, everyone else lights up with her. Pretty much instantly knew that she was something special. We were going with each other for about a year before we moved in together, so it was pretty quick before we kind of, you know, took that next step. We'd gone away to Sicily together on holiday. I knew I loved him, but it was then fully, it was like, this is it, and I can see myself being with this guy. He proposed last New Year, just gone. I got down on one knee and I said, will you marry me? And she just froze in complete shock. Liz banged me on the back of the back and said, say yes. Pushed us together and then it was like, celebration, say yeah. And his second words were, do you think we could do this wedding this year? And I was like, yes. <laughs> Kelly, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. I will love and care for you, now and always. You are my husband and wife. Yay. We were always geeing up Carl about when he was going to ask my sister to get married. They bounce off each other really well. They're complete opposites. Kelly's quite a talker and I'm not sure that Carl is. But I think in a marriage, that's what you need. I've known this day would come for a long, long time, since the first time I touched Kelly's hair the day she was born. On the way to school one day, I asked her what she wanted to do when she grew up. She said she wants to have four children, but no husband. <laughs> and I'm glad you changed her mind, Carl, today. <laughs>